Bounce. West side, make a bounce right now. Right now. North side, make a bounce right now. Right now. Middle finger to the odds right now. Is you down for the cost right now? Right now. Dead side, make a bounce right now. Right now. Get the money and we out right now. Right now. Get the boys that they want right now. In the spot right now, make a bounce right now. Like that. Working, whipping, grinding, no more time. And I guess I should take it slow. <laughs> you already know what time it is. It is time for comment shout out. <laughs> the first number one comment shout out goes to Toxic Dragons. Okay, what's up, girl? The second comment shout out goes to Ada and Yaya. Okay, what up, cuz? Third goes to Janet. Okay, what's good, Janet? How you doing? Number four to Kimmy. Okay, Kimmy, how you doing again? <laughs> Number five, the last. Oh, but she's never least. Goes to Os. Y'all know that I appreciate all your comments. Keep them coming, okay? Keep them coming. What is good, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Azuka. I know I haven't uploaded in, I think it's been two weeks or so. Look, y'all, finding an apartment is not easy. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. That's been taking up most of my time. But welcome back to my channel. I asked y'all a couple weeks back exactly what you know you wanted me to add to my channel. Y'all were like, I want a story time. With that said, I'm introducing a new series to my channel called Tipsy Storytime. Hey. Blame it on the loose. Got you feeling loose. Hey. So, Tipsy Storytime is basically self explanatory, okay? I'm gonna be drinking a little drinky drink and I'm gonna be telling a little story story, okay? <laughs> So yes, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So let's get into it, y'all. So if you think the melanin is popping, y'all know what to do. You gotta keep on watching. All right, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm excited, okay. So the drink of choice. Now, if you used to know me back when, back when the story took place, this drink, was a staple in my apartment. Um, I had to at least drink a cup almost every other day, or maybe every day. <laughs> I'm talking about the one and only triple OG right here, Barefuto Moscato, okay? Mm. Reunited, and it feels so good. So, my drink of choice, let me get my little cup. And I have, I love drinking in these like little inspirational cups that say these inspirational things. So this cup reminds me of Shalom Black because her quote is always be your own kind of beautiful. You know, sometimes you need a little bit of a reminder. And once you're drinking out of this, I feel like once you drink out of it, it kind of seeps into you in your thoughts. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Let's do things real. Ooh, look at that. Two shots of vodka. Two shots of vodka. Ooh, it's gonna be strong. <laughs> okay, there you go. I think. I think that's enough for now. Let's let's start off with that much, okay? Now we have the drink, okay? We can get started. <laughs> so every July is when the anniversary of this incident, this story that occurred in my life happens. I think it's July 7th. I don't know, but it's early July. So it all started in the morning. The day before, I just remember having a really good, good date. And this date was with the same person that was in my wine tasting video. I was like, oh wow, I think I might've found the one. Anywho, <laughs> he, 
<laughs> yeah, he. Yeah, so I was like, I think I might, I think I might have found the one. And, uh, you know, the date was wonderful the day before. Let me rewind a little bit before this whole shenanigan erupted. This whole shenanigan began. Me and my roommate at the time were trying to find an apartment that was very close to campus and very cheap. So that was our goal, and we found one. Now, being cheap and convenient isn't always the right way to go. So we found this apartment, great. We were told that the appliances were new. One thing they didn't tell us was that the appliances, yeah, they were new, but they were refurbished. <laughs> so were they really new? Hmm. Okay, I just want y'all to keep that one context clue in your brain, in your noggin, as I'm telling the rest of the story. So let's go back to the morning after your girl's on cloud nine. I was like, oh, beautiful day, beautiful day. So, you know, every morning being the true Niger girl, Niger queen, I would fry a plantain and eat eggs. Like my Nigerian people, we know, we know this is a staple breakfast. So I, you know, start the usual, turn on the heat of the cooker. Nothing really happened, great. Put the oil into the pan, wait for it to simmer a little bit. Then you start adding the plantain, great. <laughs> Everything was just going so perfect. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, like, yes. Like, I might've found a new man or now that we'd call it entanglements, you know? <laughs> this is how our kitchen was set up. The oven was in the middle type area on your left. So then the fridge, oven, then a counter where you can cut stuff, you know, was on each side. So it went fridge, counter, oven in the middle, then counter. It was on the left counter. Just cutting, you know, the rest of my planting then i see a flash of light i'm like et <laughs> y'all okay i know i need to stop laughing at my own jokes but and then i see Flames. it was so quick like within i swear 30 seconds was a spark and then a flame fire just spewing out of the oil where i was frying my precious plantain no <laughs> no i'd like to think that i'm pretty good under pressure so i remember you're not supposed to put water in oil when there's a fire because it spits right back at you fire! so i was like okay what do i do i have to remove very hot on fire oil from this cooker. I'm in deep doo doo, okay? So I take the pan, and then this is when the injury occurred. I took the pan, took it off the heat, and then put it in the sink. So it was like bam, bam, you know, really fast. I didn't put no water, obviously, you know, we, we calculated that's not a good idea, you know, by now. <laughs> so I did that, and then the fire was still on and popping. Damn, I was like, okay, what do you do now? Okay, what do we do now? Because my apartment cannot burn down. She, she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. <laughs> so I was like, okay, fire extinguisher, right? That's what you think. So how our building was set up, it was a duplex. So a triplex, actually. There was a big place on top, then two small ones in the second floor. In the middle of our floor, there was the laundry room, which had a fire extinguisher. I booked my ass as fast as possible. Like I said, I like to think that I'm good under pressure, you know? So I booked to the laundry room, got the fire extinguisher there, came back and I was like, yes, okay, this fire is gonna be done. Cause at this point, this fire was starting to burn the cabinets right above the cooker. Like, 
this shit better work. So I take the fire extinguisher, I put it on, we are ready to go. Blow it. It literally put out the weakest fire extinguish in my life. Y'all, this fire extinguisher only was on for a good three seconds. <laughs> it was like, this fire, you thought I was going to put it out. You lied. I'm a liar. Listen, let me tell you something. You're a liar. That's not my job. <laughs> like I said, I can laugh about this now, but at the moment, at the moment, y'all, I was freaking the f out. So then I was like, what do I do? Okay, I was thinking my stuff is gonna get burnt to crisp. You know, I'm a college student. I don't got no money. At this point, the fire alarms were on and popping. It was loud. It was very loud. My neighbors at the time that were upstairs were not even home. So I had the neighbor to the right of me and I run to the laundry room and I'm yelling in there for him to come out because at this point his door was locked. Thank God we'll call him Jimmy Bob because he had this weird little mullet. Jimmy Bob comes running in and has a fire extinguisher in his hand. And I was like, God bless. God bless you, Jimmy Bob. God bless you. God will bless you. Your children's children and your other children. God bless you. I beg. God bless you. <laughs> so he comes running in. I'm like, Thank God he has a fire extinguisher. Gets it ready. Shh. On the cooker. Tell me why, y'all. This fire extinguisher only lasts for three seconds. Like, honestly, y'all. You must be kidding me. How is it that two of these fire extinguishers that this apartment provided do not work? Way. Take a few. I was like, God, be my shepherd. The fire is still burning. It's fighting. And at this point, the fire is fighting the cabinet above it. It's like, I'm going to burn you. And the wood was coming off. And I was like, <gasps> then the side of the refrigerator was being burnt to crisp, y'all. I was like, how? How am I going through this today when yesterday was so good, so good. At that point, I was like, man, <sighs> kiss my apartment goodbye. At that point, I was like, you know what? Let's just run out. <laughs> Let's just run out. Let's run out of this apartment because I mean, there's no saving it at this point, but Jimmy Bob became the real MVP at this moment. He turned to me and looked at me and was like, wait, I have a fire extinguisher in my car. Wasn't that dramatic, but y'all get the, y'all get the gist, okay? <laughs> so he runs down to his car, gets the fire extinguisher. He runs back up, takes the pin out, lets it go, and it worked, y'all. It worked. Oh my God! Wow! After three seconds, it did not shut off. Thank God. We ran to the porch in the back to call 911. We look back inside. <laughs> yeah, I swear this fire did not want to go out. I was so scared and exhausted. I don't know who sent this fire. I don't know what person now send this fire to me this fire was something else I, hey i don't know the fire started again y'all <laughs> it started again but thank god we had that fire extinguisher and he extinguished it again this devilish fire did not want to burn out but this time, it was out. <laughs> oh! No more flames coming from the cooker. We call 911, tell them there's a fire. 
Five minutes later, we're in the porch, so we're not inhaling all the fumes and all that that are coming out. Cause you know, this building was an older building, so you don't know what type of asbestos, some, all that stuff that can be in there. Tell me why these firefighters come from upstairs. We specifically told them specific directions. They come and knock out the door upstairs. Then they're trying to open the door that connects upstairs to downstairs down the stairs. So we have to run and let them in. I'm telling y'all, what the F? I swear they were so ready, y'all. These firefighters are so ready. They came out, they're like, where's the fire? Where's the fire? Where's the fire? <laughs> I was like, bruh, <laughs> the fire is out. The fire has been out for the past 15 minutes. So no, don't try to come in here and I like you did something trying to yell for us to get out. All this wahala they're causing in my apartment was for nothing. And all they did was open all the doors and then told us not to go in for the next five hours so all the fumes can go out so they come up to me and then he was like oh yeah let's put ice on your hands so he puts ice not ice he he puts this cooling gel on my hand wraps it up antibiotic cream and all that and is like you need to go to a hospital i was like okay I need to go to a hospital. My hand from, as you can see, there's a scar still that's still trying to, let me take this off. Oh, this is a scar right here. Now it's gotten way better, but when it first happened, it was just very red and it was a second degree burn right here. And I'll as well insert some some photos from when it first happened but this is how it looks like right now i was told that burns like this take six to ten years to disappear so y'all i have a long haul to go but i've been taking good care of it i thank god that was only a portion of my hand anyway anywho the landlords of this property were some was an older couple and they had their son that was the maintenance guy. Like I said, many red flags. <laughs> so y'all, I felt bamboozled. I felt like, damn, y'all really put us in jeopardy and harm. Mind you, the two fire extinguishers that were in both units, we found out that both of those were expired. Y'all. That should tell you why they only lasted for two to three seconds. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to let y'all know. <laughs> You're probably thinking, where was your roommate? Girl, you said you had a roommate. Where was the roommate at? The roommate went home that weekend to go see her family. <laughs> so yes, I knew that was a context clue that you know I left out earlier in the story, but yeah, she was not there. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> Just know, karma came back when karma was needed and the people that deserve the karma got the karma, okay. What are the takeaways from this story? What can you learn from me so you do not repeat the same mistake? Do not do things because they are convenient and cheap. Do not be cheap if you do not have to be cheap. Okay, even if you have to be cheap, think twice. <laughs> Do a little extra, get a side hustle, make the extra money. I'm telling you, even though me and my roommate made the apartment, you know, pop in and look nice or whatever for what we had. The stuff that we had to endure in that apartment, even before that incident happened, was not worth the couple bucks that we saved. 
I'll say it again for those in the back. For you in the back. Yes, to you in the back. Do not take things because they are convenient and cheap. Another tip I want to tell you all is that you should always have your own fire extinguisher that you've bought in from any type of department store. They sell it at Lowe's, they sell it at Home Depot, they sell it at all those home building type stores. Make sure y'all always have your own fire extinguisher because you will never, never know when you're going to need it. Okay, life is unpredictable, things are unpredictable. So y'all make sure whenever you move into a house, apartment, townhouse, duplex, condo, all of that. <laughs> make sure you have your own fire extinguisher because these apartments cannot be trusted. They cannot be trusted. I don't care if you're the, the top of the notch, the richest of them all, these places cannot be trusted. If I would have known this, I would have had my own too. Low key, I finished that small amount and y'all I'm feeling it. My eyes are getting low. So I mean, this means, okay, y'all I'm trying to speak coherently. Hopefully y'all, I made you laugh. Okay, I made you happy. I did something, you know, invoked some type of emotion in you during the story time, okay? Um, y'all already know, y'all I'm struggling right now. <laughs> y'all I'm struggling. Why am I such a lightweight now, y'all? Anyway, y'all, get that? Anyway. <laughs> y'all, I'm such a comedian. You hear that? Anyway. <laughs> like I always say, make sure you give this video a like down below if you liked it why not give it a like down below tap and click the subscribe button y'all join the family okay you already know and make sure y'all comments okay comment down below to get featured in my next video once again remember for my giveaway you have to comment on the videos that i post this month so make sure y'all comment down below so you can be entered in the giveaway, okay? And y'all already know, I really enjoyed it. Honestly, y'all, let's do a segue because <laughs> I really enjoyed making this video, y'all. So your girl has some stories, so I will provide them to you, okay? If you really enjoyed this tipsy story time. And I will see you in my next video. Peace. Hey, hey. Uh Pride's gonna be the death of me.